Eva. Hi, Julia. How are you doing? Very good. Yes. Very good. Yes. Nice. Yes. Yesterday we talked about the energy transition and you were quite, um, I think, energized is the right word maybe, Definitely. but what was going I was on? super energized, and exactly. It looks like you're uh, excited to tell us what's going on today. So, I, you know, take the mic, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> today I'm even more energized because finally we can see the data on the computers. Ah. Yeah, people brought the data together, the coding is going very well, and we can also even see the user interfaces, which is really exciting. You're the first one, first track reporter to actually tell us this. Most of them were like, oh, tomorrow maybe we'll be able to kind of test out what's going on. So in the energy track, they're already... I wouldn't say all, but there are some teams which can show us some like prototypes that we can see. That is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what, what's the, the most interesting prototype you've seen? Uh, most interesting one that, um, yeah, that is... Okay, one that can show us what exactly the energy consumption in the house and then where the energy is going that is still going on, mm -hmm. the, the development, but that was quite interesting. Nice. And another point that uh, there were some legal issues, the legal JDIs worked very hard on that last night ah. and those are solved. Great. So mm -hmm. they did. How, how, how late did they stay? I understand that there was one team who stayed here until four, I don't know if... It's exactly, a, that's also what I heard. Is yeah. that a team from your track? Do you know? I don't think so. I think it was M2M. Oh, yeah, yeah, but the M2M, man, yes. those people, hardcore. And <laughs> also, there was a big change in like how they improved the canvas. Mm -hmm. They were working hard on their canvases. And now when we ask, like, why are you solving this problem? They can finally answer. Great. And just for the viewers who maybe don't know what the canvas is, it's basically their to say it simply their business plan. It's the reason why they're solving a certain problem, the problem they're solving, who they're doing it for, right? And exactly, and how they're gonna make money, what is their business model, what is their value proposition. Now they can finally answer those things in one sentences. Because before, when we asked those questions, they were answering 10 minutes, <laughs> still without an answer. Ah. <laughs> now we have like one exact sentences. Narrowed down answers, which actually tell you something. Exactly. That yeah. sounds good. And um, well, so the prototypes are an exciting thing. What, what kind of different changes have you seen as well today? What else can you tell us about what's been going on? Um, yeah, the codes are being worked hard on it. Um, so Better Code Hub, they've been evaluating the codes of the teams. All right. So they are being ranked according to how clean their codes are. That's so good. the teams have the incentive, incentives to even make cleaner codes. Yeah. That is one thing is being changed. And um, yeah, so ladies team are still bringing a lot of emotions to their business model. That how? is what I've been hearing a lot from the JDIs. Uh, how? Yeah. I think they think more about from the consumer perspective, not so much being drawn by the technology, mm -hmm. but then thinking more from a bigger case. And how, how is that working out for them so far? Uh, I think they took a lot of attention from many uh, JDIs. So it's, yeah, I, I see it's a good se selling point for them. Oh, that sounds interesting. Uh, are they a possible winner? Can you say something about that already or? Yeah, I, I heard good reviews on them, but I also heard other good reviews on other teams. For example, Windmail, we were saying yesterday yeah. that they are working, building a local community by using a bit like energy as a token for this community. And for example, Bancom, mm -hmm. uh, they are working on a real problem that makes a big change because some teams have a nice technology and looking for the use cases. <laughs> but for example, Bancom has a real problem and then working on a solution to... Uh, what is their problem? What is their problem? Um, when you switch uh, your energy provider, it takes around 15 minutes to find, no, 15 days to finalize this switch. Yeah. And sometimes uh, the users can be cut off from the energy grid. Right. Because they're, um, the company, the grid company might not have the information that they are switching to another company and they thought that, okay, they are getting out of the grid. That, that has been a problem for the consumers. Mm -hmm. Around like 10% of the people who are switching their 
uh, energy provider. So they're actually working from a consumer-based problem and trying to solve that. Are they the only team doing it this way? Uh, they are not the only team, but this is very clear problem that I have seen among the teams. Mm. For example, in that case, um, a consumer might have to pay around 1,600 euros if they are being cut off from the grid. Right. So they that's are, a lot of money. That's, that's a, lot. a lot of money yeah, exactly. if you can save that money. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, well, we're into the last phase, last couple of hours. Yeah. Um, well, a couple of hours. I mean, there is more than 12 hours left, but it's mm -hmm. definitely the last phase. What are you looking forward to most in the next phase? I'm definitely looking forward to most to do interfaces and also seeing the working codes and definitely pitches of the teams. Ah, the tomorrow yes. of the pitch day. Yes, 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 of course. Well, this is all going to happen after they stop coding, so they get to finalize their product and pitch after. Yeah, um, and JDice are giving them the last tips on how to pitch and what to, how to deliver your message in the time schedule. Right. How, do you know how much time they have? I haven't really... I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a we'll good have question. To, we'll yeah. have to look it up. I believe it's, well, it's a couple of minutes, I think. Yeah, it should Some, be. Just a bit more than an elevator pitch. Um, yeah. Well, I'd like to thank you for now. Uh, your yes. next articles are online, I guess. Blockchangers.org if you want to read more about digital nations. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm sorry. The energy transition, <laughs> energy track. transition track. That was yes. my, uh, my bad. Um, Thank you very much for having We'll talk to you again tomorrow, I believe. Yes. And Thank I'm you, not sure. You're welcome. I'm not sure whether we are switching to our last track reporter or not. I but think I was the last one. Yeah, are you? Well, then I, is, I don't see another. If there is not, we should have one more track reporter. But if he's not here, then I think I'm looking at my editor. I will finish off the live stream for now. Once again, blockchangers.org. Uh, Posts, that's where you'll find all the articles by our track reporters. Check it out if you want to see what's been going on. And we'll see you soon. <laughs>